motherfuckers up, Mr. McInnose, for uh, another Tuesday on Juggalo Day. Um, I did make a video about this already, but to be honest, I was I was pretty uh, worked up over the whole ordeal, and uh, so it probably came off a lot more negative than I probably should have been. You know, kind of jump into conclusions. Especially after finding out that they kind of backpedaled and said, you know, hey, there's still going to be a separate gathering. Um, I guess my uh, big issue with the whole thing was that I didn't, it felt, it felt kind of like, oh, well, if you want a gathering, you kind of have to go to this march, too. And, uh, like I said in my video, and I still, I still pretty much believe it, I don't really care about the gang labeling. Um, it does suck, and it's bullshit, you know, and I agree it's bullshit, but where I live, it's not an issue. Um, <clears throat> hell, where I live, um, it, you know, it's not... We're not gang members. Um, I mean, we have an FBI office here, but um, they're way more focused on, you know, drug deals, especially dealing with the drugs coming from Colorado into Nebraska and meth coming into Nebraska from Council Bluffs and all that stuff. Um, that they don't really, they don't really bug juggalos a whole lot. I can't, I can't name any, um, can't name any ninjas that I know that have been specifically pulled over for having juggalo stickers or anything like that. Um, it could just be that our cops are good with coming up with other lies to, you know, track them or to, uh, coming up with better reasons to pull them over than, you know sticker on their car, which, I mean, mind you, we have two vehicles, and neither one of them have anything psychopathic related on them, um, and we used to, uh, our old vehicle had, you know, just a little white hatch man, upper left corner, you know, and, uh, the stuff we would get pulled over for was, you know, having a brake light out or stuff like that. Um, but we haven't even, you know, it never really affected us to be labeled a gang or anything like that. Not to mention, you know, me and my wife, we don't, we don't really do much to get in trouble. Um, you know, we're not driving crazy or doing anything like that, so it's not really, it's not really that relevant to us, you know. Um, would I like to go to the march? Yeah, I'd love to go. It'd be awesome, but I'm not going to travel, you know, a day and a half just to go out to Washington, D.C., one of the most expensive, you know, places in the country and get a hotel room, not mention, you know, getting tickets to fly out there and, uh, you know, all that stuff. It's just that it, it seems it's too expensive for me. Honestly, just too expensive. Um, yeah, we could probably drive and, you know, leave fucking three days before it starts, you know, which I know ninjas have to do now just to get to the gathering and, you know, they're more dedicated than that and have funds to put forward to that. Um, but in... You know, if if I had the money to, yeah, I'd go. I'd love to I'd love to get some videos out there, you know. Would it be awesome to live stream the march happening and you know, whatever speeches and stuff they decide to do at the other stops and all that stuff. And uh let's be honest, the the cops are gonna be there and they're gonna be in numbers and they're gonna wait for one person to fuck up and slip up and do something stupid. <clears throat>
and it'll be game over. Um, everybody's saying, oh, well, you know, this helps raise awareness for the fact that we're labeled a gang, but the media knows it. They've reported on it before, and nobody gave a fuck. People, I mean, there's probably still a ton of people that don't have any idea about it, but I would even be willing to say that more than 90% of those people that don't know about it still wouldn't give a fuck even if they did know about it. Um, I know I'm going kind of off topic to, you know, talking more about the FBI stuff than the topic of the week, which is what our thoughts are on it being combined. And, uh, I, I think it's a bad idea. You know, people, people go to the gathering for their vacation, for their, you know, four, five, six days travel time, all that stuff to, you know, being there and all that, like, mixed together as their vacation and their time to relieve stress. And I believe that the march and, you know, dealing with all that is going to be really stressful and there'll be a lot of paranoia with with having to uh you know worry about what the outcome of the uh, march is going to be anyways um i just i think it's a bad idea in general um you know the the idea of the march is cool i like that it i mean it's definitely a uh it would definitely be a pretty interesting, you know, chapter in the, uh, Lives of Juggalo book. But, it's just not, if you're gonna do that, you wanna have ninjas that are gonna show up that know that, hey, A, something could go bad, B, um, their temperament needs to be different from what the temperament at the gathering is. Um, I mean, you know, you're not gonna, not gonna be wanting to march down the street with a ninja holding a fucking sign made from a box that says, show me your butthole. You just, <laughs> I mean, and they're gonna carry them. They're gonna carry them, you know? I mean, you're trying to tie the gathering in with this movement, and you're gonna have people that aren't gonna give a fuck. That are not just, just not gonna give a fuck. I came for the gathering, and I'm trying to have fun with all the juggalos, and they're all gonna march, so I wanna hang out with them, so I'm marching with them, but I'm carrying my show me your butthole sign. You know? So it's just like, just doesn't seem the, uh, the best route to take for that event. That event needs to be serious, it needs to be chill, it needs to not be a uh, event where people are gonna, you know, let loose, because that's the only time you get to let loose, you know, most of us for the gathering is when you really get to let your real self come out and, uh, you know, just not not worry about shit. And, uh, I just, in general, I think it's a really bad idea. I don't, uh, you know, I know weed's legal there, but I don't think it's legal in the same sense as it is in, like, Colorado, how easily, or how easy it is to get it, or whatever and all that. But, nonetheless, uh, we all know Juggalos, and weed is the least of the worries of the Juggalo community, honestly. But, I just, I want this, I want them to be separate because I want the people that want to party to go be able to party and not have to try to switch one day out of nowhere to, alright, we're partying, we're partying, two days we're partying, and then now we're doing something political, and now we're marching, now we're fucking, you know, trying to make a good name for ourselves and not, you know, not have the people at the right mindset to do that to do that, uh, that task. It's just, it, it's not there. And as much as I love Juggalos, I don't trust them enough to be able to switch their minds into that task and not fuck up. 
Plus, I really just, you know, I want the I want the gathering to be in Colorado. It'd be nice to only have to drive, you know, eight hours, nine hours, compared to 14, 15, 24, fucking 36, probably, something like that, to get to Washington, D.C. from, you know, I mean, if it... If it was my choice, we would just do it in Nebraska. It's right in the middle of the map. Everybody everybody has to come from everywhere. And you know, I only gotta drive a couple hours and that'd be cool for me. <laughs> but anyways, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Mackinos, peace.